Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, friends. Last and final room of the phishing emails. Phishing emails five. Just another day as a sock analyst. Uh, ready? Let's go. As a sales executive at Greenhold PLC, no, sorry, a sale executive at Greenhold PLC received an email that he didn't expect to receive from a customer. He claims that the customer never uses generic greetings such as good day and didn't expect any amount of money to be transferred to his account. The email also contains an attachment that he never requested. He forwarded the email to SOC which stands for Security Operations Center for those who don't know uh, for further investigation. Investigate the email sample to determine if it is legitimate. Tip, open the EML file with Thunderbird. Uh, that is one way that we're gonna do it. So we're gonna attack this um, task in multiple ways. First off, let's open a terminal here. Let's navigate to desktop, hit an ML, uh, LS and then Thunderbird challenge.eml. So with this command, basically we called on Thunderbird to open the challenge.eml file. This is going to take a while. Again, we're using the attack box for all of these challenges. Um, you should be fine uh, without, you know, without that one exception with Wireshark for the last uh, lab. We were all good. So let's start cracking. First question, what's the email timestamp? Uh, let's go one by one. So day, month, year, hour, and minute. You can find that information right here. Okie dokes, who is the email from? Well, you can see here it's Miss Jackson. You have an email address right here too, which is going to be very, very useful. Uh, good day, webmaster at redacted.org. As instructed, funds has been transferred to your account this morning via Swift. Details of the transfer, 149,000, but then they say bank charge is 104. Oh, maybe that's the bank fee, I guess. Yeah, so Ms. Jackson account payable, Sec Marine. We have an attachment file here too. So yeah, okay, so let's take on these easy questions first. What is in his email address? Well, it's Mr. James Jackson. I don't know what I said before, I'm sorry. <laughs> Info that muta, muta, muta wamarin at mail.com. Uh, what email address will receive a copy of reply to this email? So same, same email that's here, it's here. Uh, what's the originating IP? So for this, we're going to open a, another terminal. Um, okay, that works. CD desktop, and then we're gonna cat challenge.eml. And for this, we're gonna go full screen to make it easier on ourselves whenever we can. Take this out of the way and then scroll all the way up to see some details of this email. So received from, you see a few X's here. That's okay, because we're gonna go a little bit Lower in this email and we see here receive from HSRV 737 blah blah blah. Host wins DNS.com. So host wins very important for later down the road. And here we find an IP address. Okay. This is your IP address. Now let's jump back into the flag section. Who is the owner of the originating IP? Unfortunately for this particular um, room, we do not have internet access. But you, what you would do is you would type in who is 
and then you'd be able to paste that IP and then you will get your answer as being Hostwinds LLC. Alrighty. So what is the SPF record for the return path domain? Good question. So for that, we're going to go to DMarcy. And again, this I'll do in uh, my own VM here. I'm not going to be able to do it within the attack box. So we'll navigate to demarcian.com and we'll enter the domain name, which I previously did, mutamarin, mutawamarin.com. Click on check domain. And as you can see here, the domain has a valid DMARC record and is set to P equals quarantine. So we'll go to details here and this is the DMARC record. This is the SPF record. And this is the DKIM network, uh, network, <laughs> uh, the DKIM with the RSA key here. Perfect. So we saw all of those and now we're asked, what is the name of the attachment? Well, if you take a look at this email once again, you see it's attachment S w t and we are actually going to save this i know counterintuitive but we're going to have to save it because we're not going to open it we're just going to save it okay we're going to save it because we need the sha256 of the file Alrighty, so for that let's open another terminal cd desktop Alrighty, and we're going to do a SHA-256 SWT. Oh. Some. There we go. And this is your SHA-256 SUM, which we're going to copy into do you guys remember what tool did we use to analyze malware it was in phishing emails 3 and it is called virus total right so we're gonna go into virus total and we're going to paste the hash and BAM what do we have here trojan so 18 out of 62 vendors uh, had uh, okay so this looks like we're dealing with a trojan looking at these few avg here k7 antivirus max secure rising sentinel one so we are dealing with a Trojan. Now, what they're asking is, what is the attachment file size? So for that, we're gonna go to the um, virus total report on it. And the size, as you can see here, is 400.26 kilobytes. And what is the actual extension of the attachment? It shows here it's a RAR file. It wasn't that crazy, guys. It wasn't nothing too complicated, especially if uh, you've been with me through these phishing email rooms. It should have been fairly self-explanatory uh, to you if you followed from the very beginning. Once again, uh, we had an email here with an attachment and um, we were just uh, looking at the emails, the reply to email, nothing too exciting, nothing too complicated. So in a nutshell, this was it. This was your final test. I am glad that you watched this video with me. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself and I wish you good luck in your journey as a, an IT specialist, cybersecurity specialist network whatever it is that you want to do i wish you good luck 
on your path and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.